Over in the Ocean in a Coral Reef by Marianne Burks, illustrated by Jeanette Canyon. Over in the ocean, far away from the sun, lived the mother octopus and her octopus one. Squirt, said the mother. I squirt, said the one. So they squirted in the reef, far away from the sun. Over in the ocean, where the sea grasses grew, lived the mother parrot fish and her parrot fish two. Grind, said the mother. We grind, said the two. So they ground on the coral where the sea grasses grew. Over in the ocean in a sea an enemy lived an old mother clownfish and her little clownfish three. Dart said the mother we dart said the three so they darted all around in a sea an enemy. Over in the ocean on a sandy sea floor lived an old mother stingray and her sting little stingrays four. Stir said the mother we stir said the four so they stirred with their fins on a sandy sea floor. Over in the ocean where the scuba divers dive lived an old mother puffer and her puffer fish five. Puff said the mother, we puff said the five. So they puffed in and out where the scuba divers dive. Over in the ocean doing somersault tricks lived an old mother dolphin and her little dolphin six. Jump said the mother, we jump said the six. So they jumped and they played doing somersault tricks. Over in the ocean in the sea fan heaven lived the mother angelfish and her little angel seven. Grace said the mother we grace said the seven. So they laced and they graced in the sea fan heaven. Over in the ocean very streamed line and straight lived the mother needlefish and her needlefish eight. Skitter said the mother we skitter said the eight. So they skittered through the water very streamed lined and straight. Over in the ocean, drifting in a yellow line, lived an old mother gruntfish and her little grunts nine. Grunt said the mother we, grunt said the nine. So they grunted and they kissed, drifting in a yellow line. Over in the ocean, in their turtle grass den, lived an old father seahorse and his seahorses ten. Flutter said the father we, flutter said the ten. So they fluttered all around in their turtle grass den. Over in the ocean, where the sea creatures play, while their parents were all resting, they swam up and swam away. Find us at the children from 10 to 1. When you find all the creatures, then this rhyme is done. 10 seahorses. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, Nine. Eight needlefish. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Six. Five puffer fish. One, two, three, four, five. Four. One, two, three, four. Three clownfish. One, two, three. Two. One, two. One octopus. How many babies do they really have? Usually quite a few. The rhyme in this book is based on the popular 19th century song Over in the Meadow by Olive A. Wadsworth. In this coral reef adaptation of the song, the animals really do squirt, grind, dark, etc. as they've been portrayed, but the number of babies they have is very different. A few sea creatures such as dolphins or mammals and have one or two babies at a time and care for them diligently. Most sea creatures, however, reproduce by laying eggs, sometimes thousands or hundreds of thousands at a time. For example, the octopus vulgaris found off the west coast of Florida lays over 200,000 eggs in long strings that are attached to reef rocks, which she guards until they hatch. Then she dies and the babies are on their own. The 
eggs of the seahorse are treated very specially. Read more about them in the section that begins on the next page. Coral reef community. Did you know that a tiny creature, the coral polyp, is responsible for the existence of the entire coral reef community? Even though coral polyps look like plants, they are tiny animals that attach themselves to a hard surface and immediately begin producing limestone to protect their bodies. Other polyps grow and eventually become a coral colony, an underwater garden that provides habitat for the greatest diversity of species in the ocean. In this way, coral reefs are like the tropical rainforests of the sea, but it takes thousands of years for these coral colonies to form. Unfortunately, people are destroying many of these special places. All right, about the coral reef animals in this book. Octopuses have eight arms coming out from head around the mouth. Each arm has two rows of suckers, which gives very strong grip. They have no bones, but they have a relatively large brains and are probably the most intelligent of all animals without a backbone, which is an invertebrate. When they feel threatened by an enemy, octopuses squirt dart ink from a special sac into the water, forming an ink cloud behind which they can escape. They can move by jet propulsion by shooting a stream of water in one direction, which propels them the opposite way. Octopuses live in many parts of the ocean and like to hide in crevices in coral reefs. Parrotfish live mostly on coral reefs in shallow water. Looking somewhat dull when young, they become more colorful as they grow older, almost as colorful as the birds after which they are named. Parrotfish also change their sex as they age. Their teeth are fused, forming a beak which they use to bite off pieces of coral, then grind the coral thoroughly. Clownfish live among beautiful sea anemones. Sea anemones look like flowers that wave their petals. In the moving water, but the petals are actually poisonous tentacles that stun the prey that they eat. Unlike other small reef fishes, clownfishes are not harmed because they are protected by a slimy substance. The colorful clownfish spends most of its life darting around the sea anemones, attracting would-be predators that the anemone then eats. Clownfish live only in the Pacific Ocean. Stingrays look like wavy flat discs with long whip-like tails. They are graceful swimmers and look almost as if they're flying through the water. They like to stir the sandy ocean floor with their fins to find and feed on worms, mussels, and small crustaceans that live there. When they lie flat on the sand, they can be hard to see. If you are wading in a sandy area, shuffle your feet to make the rays swim away. Stingrays have a double serrated spiny barb on their tails, and although they use it only in self-defense, it can inflict a serious wound. Puffer fish, as you might guess by its name, this fish can puff up its body by swallowing lots of water or air until it is inflated like a balloon. If it fills itself with air, it floats helplessly at the surface and cannot swim until the air is released. It's a clumsy swimmer anyway. For a fish, puffers are common in coral reefs where they feed on sea urchins and crustaceans with their tough teeth. Some puffers are very poisonous to eat. Dolphins are mammals that nurse their young, which are born live, unlike most fish, which are hatched from eggs. Bottlenose dolphins, as illustrated in this book, are often seen in and around coral reefs. They have pointed snouts with bulbous heads and streamlined bodies. As with all the mammals, dolphins breathe air. When they come to the surface to breathe, they often playfully dive and jump, putting on quite a show. Angelfish are brightly colored with flat, thin bodies. They are friendly and curious and sometimes swim right up to people who are snorkeling. Angelfish often blend in with water plants and sea fans, a type of coral, as they graze about the reefs. The angelfish is often considered one of the most beautiful of all the fishes. There are many types that vary greatly in color and pattern. The emperor angelfish, perhaps so named because it looks so regal, is the one illustrated in this book because they are so beautiful. Angelfish are often sold for display in fish tanks. Needlefish easily identified by their very long thin bodies. Needlefish are easily identified by their very long thin bodies. Some kinds of needlefish grow to a length of five feet. Needlefish have beak-like jaws with relatively sharp teeth. Most needlefish pass through a half beak stage in their development in which the lower jaw but not the upper jaw is greatly extended. They swim in small schools and are most active at night. They are surface dwellers and skitter over the water in pursuit of smaller fishes. Grunt fish are tropical fish with relatively large heads and yellow lines on their oblong bodies. There are around 150 species of grunts. They earned their name because 
of the grunting sound they make when they grind their teeth together. Grunts drift over reefs and rocks in small to large schools and often stay in formation. Some species kiss when they approach each other with their mouths wide open. This is thought to be a form of courtship. Seahorses are among the oddest of all fish. Their heads and necks look somewhat like horses. After their mother seahorse lays her eggs, the father carries them in his pouch until they hatch and swim out. Seahorses swim by using the dorsal fin on their backs and pectoral fins on each side of their heads. It takes seahorses thousands of fin beats just to move a few inches. They move upright, fluttering their tails, which work like propellers. They depend on camouflage to hide from predators and wrap their tails around turtle grass when they are not moving. Over in the ocean far away from the sun lived a mother octopus and her octopus one. Squirt said the mother, I squirt said the one. So they squirted in the reef far away from the sun. Over in the ocean where the sea grasses grew lived a mother Swam away, find us in the children, 